a box of Lucky Charms because they're magically delicious. Hi guys, what's up my awesome YouTube family? Okay, so I have another grocery haul for you. I got home from the store a little bit ago and I'm gonna show you all, what all I got. I will put a disclaimer here at the beginning. <clears throat> I went a little bit too crazy with buying sweets. I have a huge sweet tooth and I always want some, something sweet to have uh, at certain times in the day and so I did buy a lot way too much uh, sweet stuff. So be aware of that. Um, if any of these foods are, oops, are a trigger for you, if they, if it's hard for you to watch, you don't have to, just click out of the video, it's fine. But I'm going to show you in no order at all what foods I got at the store today. So, I'm just going to grab random bags and we'll just go with it. So the first bag here. Okay, so this bag here, we have two boxes of cereal. We have... A box of Fruit Loops and a box of Lucky Charms because they're magically delicious. Um, okay. Alright. Next bag we have is this one here. Okay, in this bag we have. Um, I've had these before and they're very, very, very good. So I got a couple more. This is the Amy's um, Peas and Chalotas. There's one box. And there's two. I bought this package of um, single cut romaine leaves. Romaine leaf. Um, because when I, when I bought some, some stuff to make sandwiches with, but I thought I could use these romaine leaves in place of bread. So I'm going to try that. Tracy B. Uh, said that was, she does that on her, <coughs> on her blog. So that's a really cool idea. So I'm going to try that and see what I think about it. Okay. <laughs> Next. Again, we're just pulling things out in random order. So, um... Okay, we have, I thought these were really, I hadn't seen these before, this was really, really cute and perfect for just one person. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys, my throat's a little bit dry for some reason, give me a minute. <coughs> <coughs> Man. Okay. So, um, I have a few of these, I'm not sure where they all are, they're probably in different bags, but, um, these are Kroger cut green beans and Kroger super sweet corn and they're microwavable little containers so i don't have to get my can opener out and i don't have to be messed with again the sauce pan out i can just pop these in the microwave and boom vegetables so i'm really this is really cool so i have more a couple more of those somewhere else um i got a jar of the traditional alfredo sauce because um first of all hold on i'll show you that in a minute hang on for a second okay I'll show you why I have that in, in a little bit. I bought two cans. Um, they're just itty bitty cans of the Bushes baked beans. Think you're gonna get it have it as a side dish. So I bought a couple of those. I have two of these too, but one one's in a different bag. But I'm gonna I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't have anything on it that says like keep refrigerated or keep cold. So I'm assuming, and they weren't they weren't on a cold aisle. The store they were just in a regular aisle. But I bought these the Skippy peanut butter bites. This is the double can't see it very well. Double peanut butter one. And um, I bought these because I want to keep one of these in my car and one of these by my bed. So if I'm having a day where I'm hungry, but I'm in so much pain, I don't wanna have to get up and come into the kitchen and try to make something. If I need something in my stomach, um, I can I can have these. So, what is the serving size on these? Serving size is one ounce, that does not help me. <laughs> okay, one ounce is the serving size. Um, 
14 grams of carbs and 8 grams of sugar. Um, and so I kind of try these out for when I'm hungry, but just don't don't have the energy to try to make something or even put something in the microwave. I just have a few of these. Um, I'm going to keep one in my car too because there are times when I'm in my car and I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. So, yeah. Um, get it back. I'll leave that one out for now. So I can show you what it's for. Okay. Alrighty. Two over here. Next bag. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I bought a gallon of 2% milk, and I just saw something I left in my car. It's not, it's not a grocery item, it's not a, it is not a grocery item though, so I can still show you everything I bought. It's something I feel like that's my car and yet. Um, Okay, and here we have, I, th I thought I would try these, another, you know, they're sugary and they're sweet, therefore they're bad for you, but um, on Sunday mornings, there are times when I oversleep and I don't have time to, to grab, I, just, you know, I don't have time to like, heat something up, so I caved in and got tempted and gave in the temptation and bought these, they're, they're Croker, um, powdered cake donuts. I like to have maybe one in the morning, like on a Sunday morning. So, with that, I wanted to try these. These are pretty, I, I keep buying mandarin oranges and forgetting I have them and they go bad. So, I wanted to try this. This is Del Monte brand mandarin oranges and 100% juice. They're so little containers. I thought that'd be a cool thing to try. So, I'm gonna try that. Um, I wanted to try a couple of the different types, well, one type of rice. I've had this before and it's always really good. This is the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice Spanish Style. And then I wanted to try this one. I haven't had this one before. This is the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice Roasted Chicken. That's what's in that bag. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, next bag. Okay, this is okay. This is why I have that there. Okay, so we have um. <coughs> I love these. I love this. I love this dinner so much. This meal so much. Um, all you need is uh, three tablespoons of butter and margarine. One and one fourth cups of water and one half cup milk, and it comes out tasting just divine. Um, <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll eat, I'll eat half per serving. So when I go to reheat the, the other half, sometimes there's not as much sauce as there was for the first half, or the sauce is dried up a little bit, whatever, to keep it in the fridge. That's why I bought this. This is the Kroger traditional Alfredo sauce. I just bought this to add a little bit here and there to these. When I reheat the second half, it's a little bit drier, whatever, so not, not as much sauce in it. I'll just add a little bit of this to it. It made it's perfect. So that's why I have the Alfredo sauce. Okay, I wanted to try this as well. I haven't seen this before either. I wanted to try this as well. This is Idahoan Idahoan brand microwavable buttery home style mashed potatoes. I thought, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And so I, so I, I just, again, no can opener, don't need to, I don't I have to do a whole lot of stuff. I can just pop it in the microwave and it's, it's good to go. So, um, yeah. Remove the lid, <coughs> add cold water to fill line in cup, stir thoroughly to moisten all potatoes, microwave uncovered on hot for one and a half minutes. Stir well, let stand for a minute and enjoy. And they also have boiling, directions for boiling water. So that's what I want to try that and see if I like that. Um, here's the other pasteroni. And this I wanted to try because I, I, I like having like chips and Cheetos and stuff. I'm wanting to have a little bit like, I don't know, healthier or something. So I got, this is the Simple Truth Organic Aged, aged White Cheddar Baked Puffs. So I thought I'd try, I thought I might, I might do a taste test video on these. 
But yeah, I want to try those. Okay, let me get this back, step back in. Yeah, freedom sauce. Let me see my hand. I got that totally not the right way. Okay. So I'm picking this up. This fell out of the bag. This is the Simple Truth Organic Great Tomatoes. I thought I could slice them up and use them in, in different meals. <coughs> I got... If I can get it out of the bag, it's stuck. Okay. I got a, pa a package, a container of um, pineapple chunks. Because I had some like this when I was in the hospital and... They were actually really good, so I wanted to try some more. So I have those. Um, here's another uh, cut green bean microwave bowl. Another microwave bowl sweet peas. And microwave bowl sweet water corn. And this I've been... <coughs> Sorry guys, man. <coughs> this I've been craving for a while, and I just thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I have a couple pounds of ground beef in, in the freezer that I've been saving back. So I like to use one of those on this. So I'm gonna have some, have some sandwich. Okay, and here's another peas, microwave peas. And then I gave in the temptation and got some yummy strawberries. So those are pretty good. So that's what's in that bag. Okay. Okay, I got two of these. Let me get it out of the bag. This is Croco brand. Uh, uh, hang on. I'm down there. Croco brand caffeine free unsweetened tea. This is one gallon. I have two of these. I know it was in the bag down there. But I have two of these uh, caffeine free unsweetened teas. I like to have those. If I get if I get tired of drinking water or something, I just have one have some of that. Okay. This bag. Okay. What do we have in here? Okay, we have two boxes, two eight ounce boxes of. If I get them out <coughs> of Philadelphia, can't get them right. Philadelphia cream cheese. And two eight ounce boxes because I need 12 ounces for a recipe. Um, this is the the meat I to go on my sandwiches or go on those romaine leaves. Um, I never had this brand before, but it looked really good, so I'm like, oh, I'll give it a try. Uh, this is Land or Frost brand, Deli Shade Smoked Ham. So I'm gonna try that. I also want to keep these, a couple of these in my car, and some in, some in my bedroom. These are, uh, I never tried these before either. This is Kellogg's Special K 12 gram of protein meal bars, double chocolate. Um, designed, to, was designed with magnesium, calcium, vitamin D to fuel you. So, there's six bars in here. So I'm going to keep some of these in my car, and <coughs> some of them in my bedroom in case I, I'm just super weak, just need something to put in my stomach. Um, I got another one of these because they're just delicious. The Amy's bowl, Mexican casserole, really good. And this is another impulse sweet item. Um, this is the, I, I saw this in the, uh, let's see. Does it say? 
Hang on for a sec. Let me check something. Oh yeah, keep frozen. In giant print right there in the front of the box. I'm like, what does it say that? I don't see it. Okay. Right there in front. I, I got this in a freezer section. I've never seen this before. And yeah, so I got it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. How many servings for me is this? So eight servings per container. Serving size is one eighth of a brownie. Okay. <clears throat> this is a Duncan Hines gooey double chocolate brownie. It microwaves in about a minute. You keep it in the you keep it in your freezer. It has microwave directions. But yeah, it says it's eight servings per container. The serving size is one eighth of a brownie. So I'll have to eat this very, very slowly. <laughs> um, okay. In there. there you go. Let me get the cream cheese in there. Okay, fantastic. Okay, hang on. Let me get the other one out here. This is the other sweet tea. Not sweet tea. Caffeine free, unsweetened Kroger brand tea. So, I'm not about to take it out of the bag. Because you know what it is, so. You've already seen one. Um. Okay, um, as you might have been able to tell from the, uh, the cream cheese, I am making a friend of mine the peanut butter cup cheesecake pie. If you're not familiar with that, I'll try to remember to link the video of me making it down below. Um, but it's very good, but it's very, very addictive. But my friend, uh, her friend who has a birthday coming up, and they love peanut butter. So I thought that'd be a good, you know, special treat to make for them. So of course I had to have, um, I had to have the snack size, eight count, Reese's peanut butter cups. I needed, let's see, like, 10 of them, yeah, 10, 10 of them for the filling, and then 10 of them, 10, and then, and then four more, I think, for the top, or something like that. So, basically, it takes, um, let's see, yeah, yeah, 10 for the filling and four for the top. So, that equals out to 12 cups. Is that right? That's not right. Hang on. <laughs> I think it was 10 and 6, I think, 10 for the filling, 6 for the top, and so, huh, so 10 and 6 is 10, and, and whatever it is, 18, and there's, um, or 16, sorry, I'm sorry guys, I'll just cut this whole part out of the video, anyway, I needed, I needed 16 cups for uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the snack size for recipe, I'm making peanut butter cheesecake pie for my friend, and so I went ahead and bought those. There's eight in each of these. And every time I made this recipe, my friends were like, there's no reason stuff for you. Yeah, there is. So there's that. Um, I bought these, so I'm gonna put these on top of the cheesecake pie. Uh, I bought two just in case I needed two, but I don't think I will. But it says, it says happy birthday and it has alphabet letters, so I can spell out the person's name. Very excited about that. Um, this I bought for a very specific reason, okay? And I'm going to make a video about it, um, a separate video about it, so you'll see what these are for in that video. And I'm not, I'm fine that I started to say I'm not going to eat all of them. I'm sure I will, like, over time. You know, like, I'll make them last as long as I can. <coughs> but there, there's the uh, double stuff Oreos. And again, these are for a separate video I'm going to be doing. You're not part of a recipe, in case you're curious. And then, I wanted to get the King's Hawaiian, the King's Hawaiian, like, hamburger buns. But I saw these, it's Pepperidge Farm brand, and they're sweet Hawaiian, sweet Hawaiian buns for, like, hamburgers and stuff. And I'm like, that's cool. So I bought these because I thought, before, before I found the romaine leaves, 
I was like, well, I, I, want, I want something besides the refrigerator bread to have the sandwiches on. So I bought these. So I can kind of alternate back and forth if I want to. Let me put this stuff back. We are almost done, guys. A couple more, a few more bags and we're done. So yeah, um, the Oreos are for a separate video. And you'll see what that is when you see what that is. But you'll, yeah, so. Okay. If you can tell, I did a lot of shopping. This was not a small trip. Why did I leave these out? Oh well. Okay, let's see. Let's put this back here. Ugh. Okay. We have another of the Idaho and Butter Home Style mashed potatoes. And these, I rarely ever have these, but I just thought once in a while it'd be nice to have them. Um, I don't eat them very often, so it's just like a weird treat for me. Look at those. Um, these, okay, these are the, these are uh, French onions. Is that what they're called? I just said a brain fart. Inter French. Anyway, I bought these uh, green onions, not French onions, green onions. And I bought these because I want to cut them up and I can put them in different, in different dishes and things that I make. Um, this, <laughs> uh, this is a pack of Coco Brand Celery Hearts, but I can't see that very well, but Coco Brand Celery Hearts. I bought these because I was in a bit of one of those little snack trays. It has like the, the cut up celery and the cut up broccoli and the cut up carrots and then a little ranch dip. They were sold out. Like, so they had a special on those, and they were sold out. I couldn't find any. We checked at the front of the store. Couldn't find any. Checked the end, end caps. Couldn't find them anywhere. So, I bought these. I, I, could, I could dip these into ranch dressing and have that for a healthier snack. Um, or I could put some peanut butter in them. That kind of thing. For that. I, haven't had, I haven't done that before, but I've heard that's really good. So, I bought the celery hearts. I bought this. This is a base for the peanut butter... And crust from the peanut butter cheesecake pie. Oh, here's the other peanut butter bites. Let me put this back in here. Oh, this smells. Green onion smells so good. Okay. I bought some eggs. Oops. Because I'm gonna be making some cupcakes at some point in time. You have to have eggs for those. Plus the um plus the other thing I needed eggs. Something else, I can't remember now that needed eggs. So I bought this is a Crocor large grade A eggs. That's all that's in there. And, oh, and we're down to the last bag. Believe it or not, we're down to the last bag, guys. Hang on. This is, this is a long video. Holy moly. Oh, well. Okay. Here's where I really went crazy. Like, excessively crazy. Um, I <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. They are sticky. Okay, this one's full out a little bit. That's not good. Okay. Alright. Um, I went overboard. <laughs> well, number one, I went to the, to, the, to the frozen dessert section. Frozen dessert aisle. Because years ago, I used to get, they had like single serving Marie Callender's pies. Marie, Marie Callender's is a famous name brand for frozen dinners. And, hang on for a sec. So, I went there and searched. All they had was apple and peach, which those were fine. Those were great, but I prefer cherry or strawberry. So I went to the I went, <laughs> I went to the bakery section. I thought maybe they'll have a single serving pie. Well, they did, but I came across these first. So this is I'm not sure what P R S L means. Not sure, but it's a triple cherry half pie. And I got two. So I got like a whole pie. So I'm gonna try and show these to you. They're, they're, 
They are very warm for the drive home. And they're a little bit sticky and messy and they're leaking out a little bit. I'm going to show you my best I do. Best I can. You see that? Here's the other one. It's a little bit neater so I can show it to you a little better. So I got two of those because I'm a glutton. And then the last thing I have to show you, I bought two of these. Hello? Hello? One number. So, I got two of these. So, whew, guys, that is it for my, and my hands are sticky, for my grocery haul. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.